Greetings, I'm Tom, and I've been seriously neglecting my action figures. It's been a very, very long time since I actually played with any of them. And if you keep up to date with my videos, which someone might, I mean, let's face it, it's possible, um, you'll notice that a lot of the crap that's just out on these shelves is pretty much where I left it from the last videos, which were like over a year ago, I suppose. Damn, it's a long time. And, uh, yeah, it suddenly dawned on me, life is too short to not play with your toys. So I thought I'd do a little update video, Red Hulk 80 style, and just do a quick update video. Recently purchased a whole bunch of plastic bags. So I've actually got my figures in bags now, rather than just in boxes but I need to get some of them out on display in an actual display that's not just piles of figures. I've also recently sorted through my Marvel Ultimate Collection books and put them in order, realizing that's a lot of books and there's even more coming. So I've got, you know, at least one good looking, I've got yeah, I've got one good looking set of shelves in this room with all those books stacked up and there's no reason why I can't make these shelves also look good with some sort of cool action figure display. I've also still got boxes of unpainted backdrops here that I may even get round to painting and maybe even selling trading like loads and loads of backdrops all ready to go with their lovely 3D-ness I just need a little bit of finishing off I mean maybe people would be interested in buying them like this you can finish them off yourself paint a bit of brickwork fully finished backdrop but really I just need to get a nice display going here. Partly getting interested in action figures again, because there's some new action figures out. I mean, I haven't stopped buying them, just haven't had the time to play with them. So this is a new Captain Marvel figure that I am eager to open. Looks like a pretty figure. But it's got a weird combination of old moulds and new moulds. She's got an ankle pivot. But no bend in the middle. Or maybe she has got a bend in the middle. I'll have to open her to find out. And Spider-Man Noir. Some other figures that I will open soon enough. And probably do a review on. Is this Doc Ock figure which is the only three and three quarter inch Dr. Octopus that I know of. And he's also one of the only chubby action figures I own. So it'll be interesting to see what goes on there. I've missed out on a lot of really cool action figures that I just haven't had a chance to really play with or do anything with. Such as your Sandmans. And also I've got a black cat knocking around here somewhere. Do do do. Which as far as I can tell is a very cool figure with semi-decent articulation. I say semi-decent because her whole middle is just a solid block of plastic. But you know, cool hip joints and stuff. So, And a very cool character so I'm sure there's something I'll be able to do there. So you know, stay tuned and hopefully these shelves here will have some sort of interesting display on them soon.